What's going on guys, this is Taylor from the Southwest Wheel Warehouse. Today we're going to be looking at the BK655HYD. This is going to be our hydraulic brake kit for a 3500 pound axle using 10 inch brakes and a 10 inch hub and drum with a 6 on 5 and a half bolt pattern. See right here, this is the box you get it in, got a logo on it. We got our two smaller boxes here, keep everything nice and neat while it gets to you. We'll pull our true ride hub and drum out of here. This is going to be our six on five and a half hub and drum with half inch studs we can see right here races are on both sides we have our hydraulic backing plate everything's already installed on there just gotta screw it in plug everything up and you're good to go it also has this sticker on it that's going to tell us left hand right hand and we have our other box over here this is going to have our small parts in it and our other hub and drum So with this kit, we're going to get two hub and drums, a left hand and a right hand brake. And then we're going to get our seals. These are going to be the 588-46DL. So you'll just pop your bearing in and then pound that in right behind it. Then we're going to get our bearings here. We're going to get two inners and two outers. These are going to be our inners. These are going to be the 68149s. These are just going to go in right there. And then we have the 44649s, and those are going to pop in right there. Then we're going to get our lug nuts here. We're going to get 12 of these. These are going to be the half inch acorn style lug nuts. And we're going to get our grease caps. We're going to get four grease caps. Two are going to have this hole in it. These are going to be for the easy loose spindle. They do come with the rubber plug. And then we're going to get two solid grease caps that are just for the regular spindles. Then we have our hardware here. We're going to get two castle nuts. We're going to get two regular washers for our regular spindles. We're going to get two tang washers for our easy loop spindles. And then we're going to get two cotter pins. More than likely, you're not going to need these, but we like to send them just in case some axles still use the cotter pin. And then we are going to get our hardware for our backing plate. And the way that this is going to work, so these studs are going to go through this side, through the plate on the axle, screw on on the back, and you're good to go. That's pretty much it, guys. That's the BK655HYD.